Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to a new series of the Kingdoms and Castles Let's Play sort of episodes. Um, if you've been following my channel for quite a while, you might know sort of uh, three or four months ago, um, I did do a little bit of a Let's Play through Kingdoms and Castles um, and that went quite well, but then a number of other games came out and I sort of drifted away and it, it never really continued. Um, now, particularly with the Merchants and Ports updates, that's brought in much larger maps and islands and particularly sort of deep water and different terrain types etc so it's kind of changed the way it plays so i don't feel there's really any point in continuing with that um, one from a couple of months ago particularly since i haven't done an episode for quite a while anyway so i think i'm going to start again and we're going to try and uh, generate a nice new island map so i think we'll go for middle i don't think we want to do hard i found, <laughs> found this game can be hard enough as it is so we'll just do easy so we want um, yes we want a large map with islands um, Islands are going to make it harder because I guess we're going to have not that much land to begin with and we're going to have to colonise lots of different islands. So that's kind of an interesting map, lots of different options. Quite a nice large island here, it would be nice if we started on that island. So yeah, let's go with that, we'll accept that. Um, what banner do we want? Do we have like an eagle? That's that's pretty cool. Um, what should we call ourselves? Evo, Evoville? There we go. Is it Evil? Evil. <laughs> wow. Um, so let's uh, first thing first obviously we have to place a keep I'm guessing yes we get to pick this large island I don't think you can pick any one as your starting island you normally get given the main oh I can have that one um, but we'll pick this large one here I'll try and get it right in the center I think because we've got some nice farming land to the south so yeah let's go there so year one congratulations we've built a quiet hamlet so, God, it's been a while since I've played this. I've got to try and remember what everything does. Um, first things first, I thought was a forester, but I, I'm guessing that's not even the case already. Um, so what do I have to do? I have to knock down trees, don't I? Oops, let's not do that. Let's try and pause while I think about how this works. So, yeah, so I want to not chop down all these trees, don't I? So let's do that first. We have five villages, obviously, I remember to start with. So let's get all these trees chopped down. Uh, and continue. So these should, guys should then bring wood back and then we can build a forester over here. Although we're going to have to build roads, aren't we, if I remember? Because you can't build anything that's not on a road. And roads cost wood. Oh! I remember now. So let's get these guys sped up a little bit. They also want homes, which obviously need wood. So we have lots of things we need to build, <laughs> build for them. So they should chop all these trees down and um, all the different... The king has decreed the name. Uh, so yeah, so we're getting a good amount of wood here. Look, nice and plenty of wood. Um, I think I'm still going to have to build a road. I don't think I can build... Um, God, I can never remember what any of the buildings are under. Oh, they need stone as well. Do we have any stone on this island? So we've got to build a quarry first. Things are getting harder already. It's too far away from my roads. <laughs> right, so let's build roads. I don't know why I'm zigzagging randomly across the terrain. So, we've got a bit of a road there. Quarry. In industry, obviously. Place adjacent to usable stone. Is this not usable stone? Unusable stone, oh my god. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> can't believe I just did that. Wow. So... We haven't got any usable stone there. So islands does make it more difficult, apparently. Unusable stone. Iron. So, interestingly, we have no usable stone. Okay. Let's think about this for a second then. Is there any usable stone on this island? Is that usable stone? Unusable stone. Unusable stone. Get lost trees. Unusable stone. Stone to quarry. Right. So the nearest piece of stone is absolutely miles away. Make sure I'm just not being blind. Get lost clouds. There is no stone anywhere and it's surrounded by deep water except over here. Okay. I can't build a dock or a transport ship without stone. And I cannot cross this water without a bridge. And I haven't got enough wood to do that. Okay, this is going to be hard, I, I will admit. This has presented with me some difficulties. So, let's keep chopping down lots of trees. 
We're going to have to clear our way through the forest. To get all the way to the other island. Where we're going to have to build a, ro a bridge across to this island. Where we're going to have to clear uh, a path all the way to the little piece of usable stone right at the end of the world. Do you think that would be usable stone, wouldn't you? That looks like that colour that's usable stone. Oh, stone available to quarry, so that can be quarried as well. But it's just all my stone that's unusable. It has to be that clear looking stone. Whereas this is all dark stone. Okay, so let's start building the road. This is not uh, how I intended this to go, but we shall persevere. No one's available to do the construction works, I know, I know. So, spending all my wood. Oh, I don't really want to go through all the fertile land if I can help it either. So, I need to chop down all these trees. Oh, God. Okay, people. And well, of course, we won't attract able to attract any new residents. We've not got. That might be something we could do, actually, as a good start, would be to um, build a hovel. Let's build two. It might, might bring us a few more residents, so then we'll have more people to chop wood and build roads, etc, etc. And maybe we can progress this thing along a little bit quicker. Because I guess we're going to get a dragon and we're all going to have built his lots of roads, <laughs> which is not going to be ideal. Um, obviously, now the people have got to build the hovels. Oh. Okay. We're going to get through this. We can do this. So, the people obviously have got to pick up the wood that they've chopped down to build all the hovels. But then once we've got the hovels built, hopefully we'll get a few more people. And then with a few more people, we can then chop more wood and build more roads and get to the island that we need to get to, to quarry the stone, which will then allow us to build other things. So, somehow having a hovel has increased uh, prior happiness. Having two then should at least attract, hopefully, some more people. And then you guys need to chop down the remains of these trees. Okay, so we now have 10 beds and 5 peasants. Uh, happiness is on the rise, turning towards 76. It's pretty good. So hopefully as we get more people, uh, more people will move in in the next years. Come on, it's these ones you need to chop down, you fools. I can't build a road anyway. I've got to wait for these ones to be chopped down first. I think they're going to clear this whole line first before they actually do this one. I don't suppose it really matters because it takes some ages to do all this sort of stuff anyway. One guy is stacking wood uh, outside our keep. Great. I still feel like... I can't believe that stone is unusable. That's so depressing. Okay, so we're getting these trees down. We're starting to clear a bit of a path now. And obviously, the, being this being shallow water, obviously you can't build a bridge through deep water. You can only use ships. Oh, no one saw fit to stay in our kingdom. Okay, that's a little depressing. Um, ah, we're finally starting to chop these ones down and then we can lead our road path through to build the bridge and then we'll at least be on the next island and then we've got to build the road all the way up here through this lot of trees and then we can build the quarry. Wow. I'm guessing people are going to have to go all the way over there to collect uh, the, the wood, the stone then to then be able to build anything. Okay, we're getting there. Let's weave our way through. Uh, yeah, there, 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 bridge. Bridge, back to road. Okay, so we've made it to the other island. Then we're going to have to chop. Clear, clear, chop. Clear, clear, chop. And we can get through that gap. Um, and then which stone are we going to go for? I guess this one. So we want this line completely clearing. Wow, it's such a dense forest. I can barely see what what I'm chopping. Chop. And chop. I think I've missed one. Chop. And chop. And chop. And then we're going to build a road through there. And then all shall be well. So let's get back into fast forward mode. Wow. Um, people still hate us, so there's still no one arriving. Still have no stone. Still can't build anything. Um, other than a quarry and a charcoal maker. <laughs> okay. 
So we're starting to get there. We've got the road is continuing to be constructed. It'd be really helpful if some people moved into our village. That's what I'd really like to happen. At least give me a few more people to chop down trees and build roads a little bit quicker than uh, we currently are doing. Come on, chop down that last one. At least we've got plenty of wood stockpiles now. So that one's being cut down. And then we're going to cut all the way along here. Wow. This was hard work. It's going to be like uh, an entire episode is going to be just trying to reach stone. I think the moral of this story is, before you uh, select a piece of terrain, check that there's stone in it. I, I also slightly regret perhaps not stopping this video and starting again from the beginning, but we're sort of committed to this now and I, I, kind, of, I kind of feel some sense of desire to actually do it. Look at this. So we just go from here, we're going to go all the way along here, all the way along here, all the way to this stupid bloody line of trees to get to one piece of stone to glory. Um, still non soft it's no oh one 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 person one fander home and one person still carrying wood maybe we can set a job priority um yeah I don't need you to stockpile for now it's better to be a timber worker and do all this stuff here okay so we've got that going so let's start to lay the road Got all these constructions to do, which is great. Obviously, we're probably going to get attacked before I've even done anything. Which is <laughs> going to be a nightmare. Come on, keep chopping all the trees down. We've got plenty of wood now, although it's um, going to be kind of hard to access. Um, I don't want to get too close, because I want to make sure I've got enough room to actually place this quarry building. So let's just chop that last tree down. I'm going to place a road there, and then see if I can... And industry, obviously... Hallelujah. Thank God. We've finally been able to place a quarry building. So let's get the quarry building built. <sighs> um, we're also going to need like a stockpile, aren't we? So let's chop down to the little clearing here. We can place a small stockpile there. Um, we can set someone back being a stockpile worker because all this wood has got to be moved back at some point. So it's got five builders on it. Um, and then obviously it's going to get lots of people assigned to it to work it. We now have ten citizens. Um, one of whom is idle. Okay, so that's open and it's got four workers on it. So we should be able to see that. This is a nice little added interface we've not seen before. Um, it's one of the additions I think that's been made in some of the recent patches. Um, it's nice to be able to see the workers. And you can see the different priorities you can set. So you can drag these if you want people to work quarry top priority, etc. Et um, so man's cutting down the trees there. We're going to build, if I can find it, a small stockpile there. Okay, well that was a traumatic start to this game, wasn't it? So, let's first things first build one more hole. Then, we need to start looking at uh, what else we need. Town squares probably would be a good first addition. Obviously we've got no stone. We're also going to want probably a large stockpile near to the centre of the village soon as well. Uh, we also need a forestry shop. Um... It would probably makes sense to be around here, even though it's kind of very fertile land around here. Let's build him there. I'm obviously not going to. We're going to end up running out of workers soon as well. Um, oh, our stone supply is looking like um, very low. Ah, oh, because there's only two workers. It's not fully staffed because we haven't got enough people uh, to work it. I've also just realised as I'm recording this and as I'm thinking about it, you probably. Um, Someone rightly pointed out you can't see any of the interface at the bottom because my face is probably in the way. So bear with me for this episode, but next episode I shall move my face to a different corner so you can actually see what um, resource stockpiles we've got. But in case you're wondering, we've only got two stone. Oh, four stone now. Things are going well. 13 villagers. Uh, everything's looking a little more stock, though there's still no one who's idle. Um, they're building the forestry shop. That's going to take up quite a few people. We've got 15 beds and 13 workers. So the stone is continuing to roll in now, which is obviously what we want. Um, I kind of want to get enough to get to town square like that, which is kind of, I think, an important first edition. I kind of want to get this in as much in the centre as we can, I guess. So it covers a large area. 
uh, of where all our town is going to grow. I think we'll go there. Uh, so that also needs builders, I think. Uh, yeah, that needs to be builders to carry everything. And obviously the builders are going to go and fetch everything because all the stone is stored over in the little quarry over here. So you've got three stockpile workers, three quarry workers, and six builders. Uh, I don't know what they're unhappy about. Food. Okay. We have no food, so everyone is now starving to death. New problem. Oh dear. Right. So we want to start setting up farms. Um, how are we going to do this? Anything clever? We'll set up four there. Problem is, I don't really have enough people to for, to run this properly. Um, this is obviously going to be the farming district. Uh, we've got granaries, windmills, uh, bakers, uh, markets, all these are normal things. Oh yeah, that's one thing we didn't use in the last series, that is norias, um, which basically provide uh, water, which I think can be used to fertilise land, basically, um, make land more more usable. Um, obviously we've got all these people, I've not got enough uh, people to operate all these farms now, which is another problem. Um, how do we rotate the buildings are? So let's start. That one will not rotate. That's determined to snap to that bit of road. Um, well, I'm also going to have to build another little stretch of road around these buildings. Oh, what's going on there? Why did that not... I've run out of wood now. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're out of wood. Is there anyone at the forestry shop? No. Um, there's no quarry workers just builders because they set builders as top priority maybe we shouldn't have done that okay well let's just get everything built um, our people are starting to have critical food shortages so maybe a job priority would be to set farmers above builders so we've now got some less builders but everyone should start farming um, it looks like we might get a minor amount of food out of this um, considering people are, are probably I guess they're gonna start dying sooner or later um, that's generated a, li a little happiness because not everyone's completely starving to death now. Uh, so everyone's planting new wheat. So we're going to get more food starting to be grown. Um, and the rest of the people are working on uh, building. So we've got four builders. So once those builders are done. We've then got no one working at the timbers or the quarry. Because everyone's farming. So let's try and get a little bit of farming stockpile sort of sorted out. Uh, then we've got all the stuff to build. And then once we've got everything built. We can then focus on everything else. Uh, this town centre, I've still not finished, I've still got to be built as well. And of course all the timber has to be brought off from the random places that it's just dotted around the land in the middle of nowhere. Because from where we all cut it down. So let's get these few houses built. At least we've got some more beds available now. And a bit more food coming in by the looks of it. So that's increasing happiness. Happiness is trending towards 81. Uh, so we get the town centre bonus. Oh we also want a well. Kind of understandable, I suppose, but you can't have one because we've not got any wood. So, um, hopefully, let's get a bit of food in, and then we might be able to change the job priorities a little bit. Um, we don't want an event planner; is a pretty irrelevant priority. Uh, so, it looks like we've got some more people staying. So, I've assigned timber workers to a second level priority. So now the timber workers are going to gather because we've not got any timber. We also really probably want some quarry workers, but that will take up all the jobs from the builders. If the quarry workers are of a next level priority, I'll put them over the stockpile workers. So once these builders have finished building these houses on that bit of road, they'll then go back to quarrying stone, and then maybe we can go back to affording a well. Uh, people are still farming, which is good. We've not yet been attacked, which is even better. Um, although I suspect that's going to happen sooner or later. Uh, we've got the stop path of the quarry, so we're all looking good in that sense. Um, happiness is okay, and we've now got 20 people. We've got 25 beds, though, and we've got one more house being built, just waiting for an extra piece of wood. So I should be able to finish off this little piece of road, hopefully. Because I think people want um, road to make happiness. And then we also need to build a well. Um, but I've still not got enough stone to build a well. Um... Now, okay, so we have a dragon. So we have absolutely nothing in terms of defense. I don't even have a well to put the fire out. Hopefully, the dragon is just passing. Please just be passing. Nice dragon. Uh, 
we've got a full set of people at the quarry again, which is obviously good. Um, and one stop power worker. We'll step quarry workers as a, a level three priority because we need that to keep getting our resources in. So we've got enough resources from the quarry. I'm just ignoring the dragon for the moment. Maybe if I don't look at him, he'll go away. Um, where am I going to place this? Well, we'll place it there. And so that provides fire protection and that also increases happiness, hopefully. Um, a little bit of unhappiness about the uh, dragon. So we'll get that well built. Um, oh, someone left. One peasant's despair, one peasant left the kingdom. No, uh, that means we don't have enough builders now. So we'll take some of the quarry workers off and bake them to builders. Get this well up. Can this dragon just start off? Oh, he's gone. Okay. Also, I guess sooner or later you're going to have Vikings to contend with as well. Um, so we could really do with getting up and running a little bit more. Uh, we also need to build a granary probably at some point as well. Um, we can squeeze a little granary in there. And we need more people to visit us. The, the actual, actual average home um, happiness is now quite high because they've all got a lot of things they want, particularly like the town square, etc. etc. Um, we're also going to have to look at building a treasure room to tax people. <laughs> all these problems we've got to contend with. Um, and we haven't got enough people to visit it, so that's a little, a little increase. We want to get this granary built as well, so we've got a place to store this food. Because the keep only holds 50 food, which I think is soon going to max out. Which it basically has done already, look. Um, and that means people can't take advantage of the extra food. But having said that, I think we shall end this episode here. I've tried to keep these sort of around the 20-25 minute mark. Um, that was certainly an interesting start to this uh, series. That did not go quite as well as planned, particularly with the stone. We obviously spent a large part of that episode just cutting trees and trying to build our, our great epic road to get stone, which obviously everyone then has to carry all the way back uh, to the town. But we shall persevere. Hopefully you've kind of enjoyed this slightly weird starting episode to the uh, Kingdoms of Castles, Merchants and Ports. So uh, if you have, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I shall see you on the next episode.